So this is Emily again. We're going to be making um, banana coconut cream pie. Okay, good. Thanks. <laughs> so this is what we're making for Easter because it's my hus husband's dad's favorite, my father-in-law. And um, so I want to know what your favorite Easter dessert is. When I was growing up, we didn't really have dessert, I think. Uh, we went to the farm and played in the farm and had tons of candy. So I can't eat tons of candy anymore. So, but I'm still making pie. So I already kind of got some stuff together. So what we're going to do right now is make essentially banana pudding. So if you guys are low carb and keto, then, or not, just trying to have some healthier dessert options. Um, this is essentially banana pudding. So I put some coconut milk in my, let me see if I can just get you guys down a little farther so you can see what's going on on the stove. There you go. So I put a whole can of coconut milk into this uh, pot and we're gonna bring it almost to a boil, but not quite. And then I have in here some yolks that I've separated. Three egg yolks and I have lightly whisked them. And we're going to do what's called tempering the yolks because um, you don't want to get salmonella and have to come see me in the ER, right? So this will just take a second. Hey, Veronica. While that's heating up, I also need to make a crust. <laughs> yeah, when you go low carb, you cook a lot more, but uh, I'm just kind of showing everybody how to do some stuff. So I'm going to link this recipe. It's from Resolution Eats. Emily, uh, she does a great job. I'm not quite at the Constructed My Own original recipes yet. Um, so when this is over and I've attached it to my uh, Facebook page, LSF Coaching, um, then you can go on, look at all the recipe. I'll, I'll put it in the comments, okay? So I have um, a third of a cup of whey protein, vanilla, and some um, almond flour, flaxseed, coconut flour. Um, there are a lot of different crust options. This one's really quick and easy. Uh, it's kind of like a graham crackery crust. So um, you could put uh, cinnamon or allspice in this too. Um, so it's really good. So you just put all of that into the, into a little mixing bowl. The oven's ready. Don't forget your cooking milk on the uh, stove. Okay. Can you see that? It's hot and steamy. Little bubbles, but not coming to a rolling boil, okay? So you're going to take that and just pour a little bit into the egg yolks while you're whisking. And that's called tempering the eggs. Basically, you don't want to cook the egg, but you do want to bring it up to a temperature that will kill off the bacteria. Hey, Aunt Cindy, happy Easter. I'm just going to whisk that. Whisk, 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 whisk. Mm. 
Now, since your eggs are tempered and your milk is nice and hot, you want to put it down to low. I gotta take this off the heat a little bit. It got kind of hot. So you're just gonna pour the egg yolks into the warm milk, continuously stirring. Whisk, 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 whisk. Basically, we tempered the eggs to kill the bacteria and so that you didn't cook because it'll get chunky. Pudding to be chunky. Put it back on the low heat now, just so it stays warm. And we're going to put in, sprinkle in the sweetener, nice and slow, continuously stirring. I've already put the xanthan gum in here too. You can use guar gum also. Um, it's just a thickener that's not cornstarch, okay? So you just sprinkle it in, stir. Yeah, you know how I hate to stir. It's a good thing we're not doing cream cheese fat bombs, Sean. I always make him make my cream cheese fat bombs. I just put in all the ingredients and then I make him stir it. Maybe I should add forearms into our workouts. And this is going to get nice and thick. And you just cook it until you get it to a nice thickness that you like. And remember, when you put it in the fridge, it's going to get thicker too, okay? Alright. Now this is nice and thick. for you so you can see. See how nice and thick that is, just like banana pudding. And you're probably thinking, well, it doesn't actually taste like banana pudding right now, does it? So the trick with flavorings is you don't want to cook them if you want them to have a potent flavor. So now I just have two teaspoons, one teaspoon of banana and one teaspoon of vanilla extracts or you can use those um, sugar-free candy extracts um, down the candy aisle for like hard candies there's no sugar added to those because they're just flavorings like at the gas station um, did you know that you could get just um, fizzy tap water and put some of those flavorings in there and have flavored water Okay, so here's our pudding. It's nice and yellow because of the yolks. So I'm not going to put in any um, food coloring, but feel free to make it pretty if you want to. So we're going to cover that with plastic wrap so it doesn't get the pudding film on it. And pop it in the refrigerator. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back to our crust now, right? I've mixed that up all nice together. And then I have over here some melted butter. We're just going to 
Put all that in there. And like I said, this is just like a grim cracker crust, so you're just gonna work it in. Remember to turn off your burner. I have melted more than one appliance this way. You're just gonna stir in the butter until it has like a nice texture. Make sure the all the butter's incorporated. So I love graham cracker like crusts. Um, but Sean's favorite is the flaky, regular, like apple pie crust. Uh, what's your guys' favorite crust? I kind of wish this had some cinnamon in it. All right. So I have an already greased pie pan right here. And I'm just going to press that down in there. be too much too much crust for my pie pan that means more for later and make another pie maybe so you just press it in there hi Emily Christy Lisa hi I saw your workout post earlier. You're getting it, girl. Keep working. Then we're gonna take our fork and just like stab it all over. This step is not as important on this kind of pie crust. Because it doesn't really bubble up as bad as the white flaky crust. All right, what do we have now? Meringue topping. Mm. So this isn't really a meringue. Meringues are uh, tempered whites. And I'm gonna do um, actually whipping cream. So that's gonna cook for 10 minutes and we're gonna come over here to my electric mixer. So last year my husband bought me an, uh, a KitchenAid mixer. It was a life changer. So we're gonna Put that up, turn it on. Hi, Chelsea. Don't forget to comment what your favorite Easter dessert is. Pour all that heavy whipping cream in there. gelatin. So that's basically just um, one tablespoon of cold water, one tablespoon of hot water. Mix it up together. Hey, if you missed it and you're just tuning in, we're making coconut cream uh, pie for Easter. Low carb, uh, sugar free. Put a 
teaspoon of vanilla in here. And just a little bit of coconut. Package of gelatin. Mix that. So when you think you've got it all worked in the cold water, then you want to add the hot water in. I'm going to give our whip a little break there. And it says boiling, but um, we have our water on really hot, so I'm just going to take some steaming hot water from the, st from the sink over there. Together. And this is going to dissolve the gel gelatin here. And make sure that you get all the clumps out, which is kind of the hard part, really, with gelatin. So we've made homemade pudding, sugar-free, low-carb, and now we're making, essentially, homemade jello. Look at all the things that you're learning how to make today. We're going to put um, three tablespoons of powdered swerve or your favorite powdered um, sweetener. You can also get like monk fruit or erythritol, xylitol. Um, if you get xylitol though, watch out, don't share with your doggies. sweetener into my
also a little clumpy in there. I added a little more water. Basically, we're just making her. Gelatin has the ability to fluff up. And that's why we're not just using guar gum like we did before, the xanthan gum. I'm going to scrape the sides down, but see how you can... <laughs> with whipped cream, normally, if you mess with it too much, uh, just like egg whites, it'll kind of deflate on you. And that's what we put the gelatin in for. The gelatin gives it a nice structure. Gonna toss it in one more time for a quick spin. Make sure everything's incorporated. All right. So that's what that looks like. So let's go check our crust, huh? Looks golden brown. So when that's all done, it takes two hours to chill the pudding. We're going to um, put the pudding down. We're going to put the meringue on top of it and uh, put it all in the fridge for tomorrow. Sprinkle it with a little coconut, because remember the meringue is a coconut flavor. And we'll have banana coconut cream pie for Easter dessert. And I can't wait to see uh, what your guys' favorites are. And thanks for tuning into our channel. Remember, this is Emily at LSF Coaching. Uh, if you could go to my page, uh, like and follow it. And we're going to have tons more videos, workout videos, cooking videos. We answer your questions. Um, let us know what you want to hear about, okay? Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.